Happy American Thanksgiving, everybody. It is Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from Gray. Gray wanted the Palace Athena at, uh, decorated as a turkey, so, I mean, what other day am I going to run that? And that is what we've got. Uh, Palace is uh, a 600-point level 2 uh, support in this case. And I think it's level 2. Either way, it's strong, and it is uh, also just somewhat fragile. Uh, well, when raids get a hold of it. Um, otherwise, it's fairly uh, hardy. On this map, more or less, everything is kind of fragile, just because it's the Arctic base, and this is, I believe, a raided match. And, yeah, what, the problem with Arctic base is, there, uh, as I've mentioned before, there is pretty much one stock opening for a round. And it is everybody runs in circles until the slowest person dies. And I, I, this is the only uh, round I played uh, with this while I was trying to get this request today that I was not the slowest person. So, But yeah, the Palestina has a ton of great weapons. Uh, it has that uh, sustained damage beam uh, cannon you just saw me use before. It has... oops. Has a... Uh, managed to get the kill, nice. It has some gigantic and powerful missiles that all uh, converge on a target. It's, yeah, it has got a lot of fun weapons, but my two favorites are the beam launcher and the missiles. Uh, everything else is quite good, too. The shield missiles are not bad. The, uh, uh, the standard beam rifle does a lot of damage when charged. It's a slow charge, but it's worth it, generally, if you have time to get the charge off. I just hit their base instead of the uh, instead of them. Also has a grenade launcher on its rifle, which very slow firing projectile it has a good range, but it's so slow it's really not worth using at long range. And I've been beamed to death, which happens. But yeah, it's again, it's even with the uh, even with the enhanced weapon swap, I actually still fumble things with that pretty regularly. So it's it's kind of tough to get used to, but it's again, it's worth it and. The enhanced weapon swap has definitely made it easier than it used to be. Uh, same as with the Gallus J. Basically, it was a really good and very smart addition to the game because it, there are a lot of mobile suits that uh, it makes easier. I have a request for the uh, Thunderbolt Gundam I'm uh, going to try and get soon. And I have a feeling that's another one that is just going to run so much better with the uh, with enhanced quick swap. So yeah, it is, uh, okay, fired the missiles, don't think I'm going to hit anything. Nope, didn't. Too far away, too many pylons in the way, just, ah, one of those things, just waiting for someone now to get in my range, but they are moving too fast. Big problem with the Palace Athena's uh, uh, beam launcher there is the fact that it uh, does not have a lot of stopping power. It can stun things, but basically if something is moving quickly enough, it will get out of the beam before uh, the beam can really pile on enough stun to do anything significant. So, managed to get the missiles over the barricade and win that exchange. Firing uh, rockets up there, and that uh, did not really work out. Uh, they're firing, there's some support fire coming in, but I don't think there's any enemies in it. I should have taken that shot, but to be honest, it, I was just kind of amazed that this range the reticle turned blue. So, I did not pay enough attention. That's That was just kind of on me. Uh, beam cannon's ready. It does pierce, but I'm trying not to fire through my allies unless it is absolutely 100% necessary to, uh, in some cases, like, save them, but that has not come up in any of the rounds I've played today. Let's see, some support fire coming in, and I noticed there was someone behind me, and better if I'd be shooting them. That is a Dovin Wolf, and that is a great target for a Palace Athena, because it has type advantage, and the wolf has very low hit points. At level 1, it has 15,000 hit points, which, at these costs, is not much. Not much at all. So, yeah, it's, it's, a good, it's a good thing to be hitting if you can get a good shot in on it, and managed to get it. There was a little bit of, uh, little bit of latency there, I think, but yeah, they connected and uh, got the kill. And at this point, trying to get to a good position to fire on something else, but yeah, this has been a pretty good round, and I've managed to uh, use fair number of different weapons and uh, different ranges and such, so I, I was just enjoying it, honestly. I should have fired the standard beam rifle instead of charging up for the cannon. That's kind of one of my problems when I use this. I get set on wanting to use one specific weapon or another, and it can backfire badly. And that, speaking of backfire badly, that passageway is just wide enough to hit all the missiles on each side, which means that MLRS, you know, got through completely unscathed. 
And, yeah, that that was not good. Of course, uh, those missiles uh, uh, can be tricky with low overhangs and narrow passages because they're going to hit the walls and they may hit the ceiling as they fly out. So you, you, you have to be careful with it. Someone is saying take the generals, which as soon as I am alive, I will endeavor to do. Generally, I'm... I'm I, I have the unfortunate habit of just trying to kill whatever's in front of me instead of waiting for type advantage sometimes. And especially on this base, on the Arctic base, where it is just really kind of uh, a kind of narrow spaces and very easy to get overwhelmed sometimes, it, I have that problem. But here is Bao trying to uh, uh, kill me. I am sending for help now because if it can, if it gets close enough to knock me down, it may have me. So. Caught it in a tackle, knocked it down, which should put it in a good range for the mess uh, missiles. And did it didn't hit all of them, but it hit some. I think if I had tried to back up into position, I would not have uh, I would not have landed it. So, but yeah, I sent a bunch of uh, need help here, and luckily help came. And I, if I was smarter, I would have sent, uh, said thanks. But I was a little bit uh, a little bit focused on. Uh, uh, fighting the next thing, but if you are watching this video and you're the one who came and bailed me out, thank you! I really appreciate it. And, let's see, looking for a good target, and that looks good. It looks like I'll hit two of them. I did. I may have tagged one of my allies, which, like I said, trying not to do, but sometimes it's just too good a shot to pass up, especially if I think I can keep either thing from attacking the ally that's with them. So, we, we are still down a little bit, but we are getting closer. It is winnable, but I don't remember if we do or not. Don't think we quite make it, honestly. But there's another kill. It's going to be a close thing either way. Caught in the end, there's another one. And I should be charging my beam rifle, which I kind of am, but uh, like I said, it takes a while to charge. And I missed the shot, which makes, it, which makes that pointless. There is a Zeta Gundam. I just am kind of fumbling for the right weapons, and there's the bow again. I'm calling for help again, but yeah, I should have sent thanks earlier because, yeah, no, they're they're coming to help me now, but it's just too late. As you can see, the Bau has just way too much melee strength. I can't complain too much. They, uh, I was backed up before, and I, I did manage to get uh, do a lot of damage before I got myself killed, so it's not bad. However. There's almost no time left. I decided that the best thing I could do with the time that's left, because I'd only have about five seconds to do anything useful, is to fire, uh, launch some support fire. Because I don't really see... Yeah, with the amount of time left, I don't see anything else I could do to really do enough damage before time ended. Unfortunately, they managed to isolate a couple of our people and get a very slim lead, which they are going to keep. It is, it is a shame, and we almost had it, and if there was somebody weak there, but I did not have a good angle on them, so nothing else I could do. I think somebody else got killed at the last second anyway, so even if I had managed to land a shot, it wouldn't have made a difference. But, yeah, it was a close round. We lost by about 1,000 points. I got 4,000 points and 6 kills and 3 deaths, so not bad. So that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. Hope everybody is having a good Thanksgiving or Ordinary Thursday, depending on where you live. And until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Also, the other day I finally rolled the Gab Flea, and I'm going to try and get a uh, decent round with that when I can. I've been waiting on that one for a while.